millions and millions of casualties of war, perhaps one of the straightest casualties of war is that of the truth, is that of exactly what happened and where and at what time. And I would just like to say to everyone this morning, when you are standing at the silence for remembrance, if you are standing at the silence for remembrance, think to yourself, what am I remembering? Something that must not happen again. So to the world leaders, you're all well educated now. You have to think of the consequences of your actions. That is a responsible leader. That is a leader of leaders. When you go home, tell them of us and say that for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Think to yourselves about all the souls and hearts and minds of these wonderful, wonderful young people who fell in battle in all wars, but in particular the First and the Second World War, because the casualties were just so enormous, because the consequences of the actions of our world leaders at the time were just so enormous. And let's ensure that our young people of today have many, many bright tomorrows. Let's not just commemorate and remember those who have passed on. Let's remember those who are with us. Let's look to the living and let's wish them a great many tomorrows. For those who made the ultimate sacrifice, we say thank you. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. But at the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thank you. And I hope you have a very good morning. Join us tonight at 10 o'clock sharp here on Facebook Live. Ah, I've just got some messages here. Here's one wishing us all a good day from Melbourne. Thank you to all of you.